Welcome back. I'm Mike Tyson. Oh, my next guest runs the Wu Tang Physical Culture Association in New York City, where boxing is taught as a martial art. His gym knows no gender boundaries, so women are free to break their noses too. Please welcome Frank Allen. Pleasure to have you here, sir. Thank you. And also, of course, Mr. Sugar's new uh, new book here. This is like the the big anniversary issue, 35th anniversary collector's edition. God bless, it has to be. Somebody's got to collect it. That's right. It's for your bets, no <laughs> doubt. Now you have a school here in the New York area, and anyone can. You should explain this. Anyone can learn boxing, and it's really more of a, a more than just boxing. It's more of a stress reliever too, right? Yeah, we have a system of teaching fighting for health, is what we call it, and it runs in five phases. But the first phase is boxing, mm -hmm. and we use it for people to exercise, for people to get stress relief, for people to build confidence and character. And it's all we use boxing as the beginning of a system that progresses into kickboxing, grappling, self-defense, and weapons. So we teach it a little bit differently, and it's all based on. Um, the principles of Chinese internal boxing, which is what our club really does, and we do this sort of as a side program. It's for straight. Well, let's take, let's take a look at a clip here for a second. This is, we went to your, our crack, America's Talking Staff, went to your gym, and these are now, why don't we take a look right here. Uh, actually, gentlemen, you can look over here on the screen. Let's see, uh, <laughs> Bert's going, where do I look? Bert, Bert just, just smoke this cigar. Now, th what's going on here? Um, that's Mary Ochoa. She's one of our instructors, and she's working on the heavy bag. Uh-huh. And so, okay, and then right here? And this is Martha Kessler. She's one of our boxers. She's actually our middleweight, and mm -hmm. she's working focus mitts. It's funny, because this looks a lot like my talent department when they talk to me a lot. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, you're sitting there going at it with, a, with one of your... Um, that's, I'm just using focus mitts there. Those are movable targets so that uh -huh. she gets to practice punching a moving target as opposed to a static target. What, what do you think about that, women getting in the ring and, and boxing? Well, I think there are two different uh, thoughts here. One is, and as Frank has mentioned, it's a tremendous regimen. It's mm -hmm. a tremendous physical discipline, boxing. Whether it's uh, jumping rope or hitting the bags. Somebody asked me how would Mike Tyson do when he gets out. I said he hasn't done any of his, uh, any of the things you do to prepare for a fight in uh, Indiana State Penitentiary. Road work is called escape. Uh, <laughs> but he's, teach he's teaching girls guys, whomsoever, I think a great physical discipline. Let's take a look at them in action as you're talking, yeah? And there's a distinction between that and getting hit in the, in, in the puss. Right. I mean, yeah. getting hit in the nose. Look at this. This is uh, evidence. Yeah. Uh, and again, these, they're doing the disciplines, but again, they're getting the punches picked off. It's just the timing here. Frank, what's going on here? You can look right here. Yeah. Um, the women are sparring. What they're doing is they're actually using control. I can do that. If you get that guy out of there, I can do that. <laughs> I can hug her. <laughs> Those are two women, by the way. Um, Pick a guy out of there. Ooh, <laughs> What's going on? I've got to get my glasses yeah. on. I thought it was you. <laughs> you said that was, you know, you were putting yeah, through the discipline. you in an alley later tonight. <laughs> Listen, not anybody can meet me in an alley. <laughs> and, but you said you had a five-step program. And, um, and when I boxed, I had a five-step program. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> One step, two step. But I, I, I've got to tell you, I'm not that given to watching girls actually box with each other in the ring. Uh, I don't know if I'm caught up in machismo or I'm caught up in the time-honored verities or I'm caught up in I can't compare them or... I just don't know. Maybe I view them as beautiful creatures and don't want to see them scarred. But you know what, though? I, I went to his, his training, as, as we were going to look in a second, and he showed me a little bit. And it really is one of the things that I found, it, it is a stress reliever. And I think that, that, that even if women, whether it's a sport or not, that's a whole other thing. Uh, Frank, why don't you take it away here? I trained a little bit with you here. This is uh, yeah, we Roger this a little sad. To teach him it's a very little sad. Bit of the basics. Look at this. Then. Okay, there I am. Miss, look at me. Da da da. This is still the most stressful man I've ever met. <laughs> Tell me what I'm doing One here. One very Frank. short lesson. Roger needed more. We're trying to teach him a basic peekaboo stance to protect his head with his gloves and protect his body with his elbows and to show as little target as possible. Had to get five tattoos that day. And I'm trying to teach him to throw a left jab and use it as a setup punch and always look, proceed as. Man. With a left jab. By the way, I didn't wear deodorant that day. I'm really sorry. I just Not only that, I, <laughs> any of the girls could have beaten you with that stuff. Oh, style. yeah? Yeah, you want to see? Let's take a look at me in action with one of the girls. Let's see. Here this we go. Roger was seeing him. This is Roger with my flyweight. All right, now give us a little play by play uh, here. Look at that. Come on, Frank. This is my 110 pound flyweight instructor waiting That's it, in Roger. Oh, Lucky you punch. look beautiful. Lucky and punch. Oh, ouch. Well, okay, they put and the headgear on. I had to stop and put headgear on. He called for it. He couldn't deal with it without the headgear. Oh, ouch. And wow. Oh, look at that. She hit me. I wasn't looking. You know what? His best punches are right jaw to the left glove. Look at this. 
This is terrible. <laughs> Look at that. Ow, that hurt. Let me. How much money would you put on me for that? Uh, you go in as a longer <laughs> underdog than my uh, than George Foreman does on Saturday night. Now, now, okay. Uh, I took a good one right in the jaw. I tell you, if I gave her a good punch, I'd let her my head and meet her fist, and that yeah, was a yeah. good one. I, I, I defended myself, but that was I. I now understand in boxing, that you know you hear about how you get the lead legs and the arms and everything, but man, round and a half, and I was gone. It's um, it's very physically sapping. Yeah, you didn't even last a whole round and a half, but the basic thing... <laughs> <laughs> He's even demeaning your demeaning. <laughs> Jeez, but... running out of time, Frank. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you say. <laughs> the basic thing to stamina is relaxation, which is what you're missing, Roger. So <laughs> teach people to well, relax in the ring, and actually people that are less aerobically conditioned and can relax in the ring will last longer in a fight, I find, than people that are highly aerobically conditioned. Then they get tense, and they breathe in their chest, and they start to run out of air really quickly. Which is what it, how long does it take to train somebody? How long would it take to... Like Mr. Warmth over here, how, how long would it take to train him? <laughs> well, That's Bert Randolph warmth to you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Most of my students train for about three weeks before they start sparring, and then they spar very light control contact with instructors until we see that they have developed their control. Mm -hmm. And then they go into controlled contact with the fellow students. But it's all, the key there is controlled contact. That nobody's trying to win the fight, everybody's trying to get a good workout, healthy exercise, relieve some stress. Yeah, can, can men and women of equal size be in a fair fight? Well, men and women of equal size can physically stand to each other, but the psychological differences are tremendous. If it was actually uh, get down, who's going to win fight, mm -hmm. it, the advantage always goes drastically to the male because fighting is 90% psychological. Yeah, but anyone who's married knows but that it's the wife's going to win. That's not physical. <laughs> no, um, well, sometimes <laughs> you get hit on the head with a pan. Who do you think is going to win the, uh, the, the Foreman Moore fight? Um, Moore has to be the exceeding favorite. The only thing that makes it exciting is discounting his fight with Holyfield. Moore sometimes likes to get in close and stand there and trade short punches. Show me you're real good punches. with your punches. You, I mean, you, you, you were just displaying and, this the other day. Well, he's going to get in and, and show me a little and bit. show throw really short. He's got a good wait, wait, six wait, wait, inch wait, punch. He's left handed though. You got to do it the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he fights left handed, I'm even not, though he's right handed. You're right. You're correct. So okay. he gives him a powerful right show. right hook, and yeah. but he likes to get in close and throw really short six inch punches mm -hmm. and stand in front of you. And George is really big and has never gone down to anyone that would stand in front of him and throw short punches. So it gives George the, the puncher's chance. Maybe he'll land the big one. But Michael's been more. known to be knocked down, but he also tends to get up and knock the man out that knocked him down. Well, you know, I could take either of them in like one round because you said that's all I could last. We'll be back with more. Hey, gentlemen, please stay with us. Adrian Tulsh will be here. Thank you very much. I could take him. <laughs> Are you taking it off? He blows the tape a few more times to make a fighter out of you, yeah? Yeah, right. She got me a long time in the job. It was good. My head hurts.